Hi, this is Bonnie with Bonnie's Art. I'm back today to do another face painting. This is my daughter. I'm painting a full face butterfly on her. The camera is set up to show you just one side so you can see all the way back into her hairline. This painting is a mirror image so the other side will look the same as this one. I'm starting out putting a dark purple powder from the side of the bridge of her, the nose near the eye up across the forehead and into the hairline then down the cheek in front of the cheekbone. I'm making a sideways V with the tip of the V at the edge of the eye. This forms the basic frame of the wings. I do this to both sides, making the V shape again on this side. I'm using purple here because it goes really well with her purple shirt. I'm switching to turquoise blue and again color in the sideways V shape. By the way, all my powders are Ben Nye powders. Next, I change to a third color and I fill in the area inside of the V. Here I'm using a pr really pretty sky blue to fill in completely the inside of the V shape and take it all the way back into the hairline. As the background color for the butterfly, she chose gold. I apply the gold cut powder all the way from the tip of her nose up and again into her hairline. Switching to black paint, I start with the head of the butterfly on her forehead. Then I paint two segments of the body coming down the ridge of the nose. Make sure you remember to paint on the antenna as well. Starting at the top of the eyebrow and on the nose, Draw a line up and over the top of the eyebrow, then come down and around and under the eye. Lift the brush and reconnect right before the, and reconnect and begin drawing the line down again all the way to the jawbone and then up towards the center of the, towards the nose. I repeat this process on the other side, attach the wing to the body, paint over the eyebrow, into the hair, down around the eye. Pick up your paintbrush, move it back to the jawbone, painting along the jaw and up to the nose. Remember to reload the brush at the end of each stroke so there is enough paint in the brush. I like to paint over the eyelid like eyeliner, keeping it smooth and consistent. Draw all the way up over the eyelid and up towards the hairline staying inside of the wing area. I do this on both sides. I make a few more black lines and include a few dots. I have switched to white. I draw in areas of highlight and some accents as well as to indicate motion. Switching to a light blue color I am putting on dots and a few lines. I keep all of these accents on the inside of the butterfly wing. I pick up my pink brush and paint on some more lines as well as some dots. When you make yours be creative, a few swirls would look really good here too. I start out with lines between the lines up on the top of the eyes and then sometimes just for composition, I will put in dots in different places where I think they will look good. Finally, I pick up my dark blue brush and I add a few lines under her eyes that look like huge eyelashes 
Here she turns. You can see her t entire face and see how it is mirrored from one side to the other. Last of all, I add on fairy dust. I cover her full face with the fairy dust so that she sparkles all the way around. Now we're all done. Here is my daughter's face, all painted with a full butterfly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and try it out.